What is going on, everybody? Estas here. So I want to quickly break down the CPI numbers from this morning, and I also want to go over how the stock market's reacting to them. I want to talk about some stocks that are moving pretty aggressively today. And of course, we're going to go over a little bit of what I've been up to. So if you guys find value, hit the like button, subscribe, take a sip of your coffee. You're probably going to need it for this one. And check out my Patreon if you guys want my real-time buys, sells, call outs, morning update videos, plus more. All of that's on Patreon, link down below. And with that being said, let's get right into the video. So let's break down quickly what ended up coming out this morning. The consumer price index for all urban consumers increased 0.4% in September on a seasonally adjusted basis after rising 0.3% in August. So it seems like inflation kicked up a notch. And over the last 12 months, get ready to have your mind blown, but not really because <laughs> we've known uh, we've known about this. Over the last 12 months, the all items in uh, index increased 5.4% before the seasonal adjustment. And if I come up here a little bit, the one month change, percent change in CPI for all consumers, urban consumers, seasonally adjusted, that is what this chart right here shows. And let me double check to make sure you guys can actually actually see this yes you can actually I might as well just make my face smaller now because I'm going to do it in 30 seconds anyway um, what we're seeing right here is again the one month percent change over the past year and clearly we've been uptrending for the past year well I guess you can say we've decelerated a bit over the past couple of months but overall year over year September to September we're up a ton. Last September in 2020, we had a 0.2% number. We just had a 0.4%, so that's double. And back in June, it was 0.9%. April was 0.8%. And again, like I just mentioned, we ticked up a little bit from the 0.3% number in August. So needless to say, guys, inflation is running rampant right now, and it's a lot higher than what the Fed anticipated. And they're kind of going back a little bit on their transitory statement from a couple months ago, which we said, guys, I've been saying on the channel, I doubt the inflation is going to be transitory. And yeah, I mean, we got a big print today of 0.4%. And if we go down a little bit here to look at the, uh, the different categories, we can see all items 5.4%. Unadjusted 12 months ended uh, September 2021. That is not a good sign. And if we take a look at the other categories here like food, energy, we're going to see there's a lot of inflation and an increased amount of inflation, especially in the food category. So let me make this a little bit bigger, actually. Can you guys see it? Let me double check. Um, yeah, that's perfect. So let's take a look at this. Food came in at 0.9% in September, and it was 0.4% in August. And the 0.9% in September is actually the biggest number, at least with the data we have here from the past six, seven months, which is crazy. And the past 12 months, food has gone up 4.6%. Food at home is at 1.2% for September, above the 0.4% in August, and it's 4.5% over the past 12 years, or 12 years, 12 months, food away from home came in, or I just mentioned that. Um, did I did I misread that? I, mi I misread that, guys. I'm sorry. It was 0.9% for food in general. Food at home was 1.2%. Food away from home was 0.5%. But either way, all of those numbers are higher than what we saw in August and higher from the previous couple of months. Energy. Let's talk a little bit about energy. Believe it or not, this went down a little bit in September. September read 1.3%. August was 2%. Uh, and then we had oil. Uh, fuel oil was up a lot. It was almost 4% compared to the negative 2.1% in August. And the last 12 months, guys, unadjusted, I mean, the energy numbers are insane. Energy in general, 24.8%. Energy commodities, 41%. 42% for gasoline. Fuel oil is 42% as well. Well, these numbers 
are staggering. Then we had energy services pretty much came in, uh, you know, very close to what we saw in August. So not much to talk about there. I guess you can say utility uh, gas service was up a lot. Um, that was 2.7% September compared to the 1.6 in August. And let's take a look here at the vehicles. Um, new vehicles came in at 1.3% in September compared to 1.2 in August. So that's pretty much in line with what we saw. And that's up 8.7% percent uh the last 12 months and for used cars and trucks which is what we saw a huge uptick in back in april may and june we saw a negative number again just like we did in august we saw negative 0.7 percent and in august we saw negative 1.5 percent so it's starting to creep up a little bit but still negative which i guess is a good sign and other than that we didn't see any crazy pops um in inflation in terms of these different categories i guess medical care commodities came in at 0.3 percent that was negative 0.2 uh last month so i guess that's a decent uptick there um shelter was 0.4 percent this month it was 0.2 last month so overall i guess the biggest inflation we're seeing right now is in food which all of us are seeing that in the grocery stores i mean a lot of this food is more expensive no doubt i'm noticing it firsthand i'm sure you guys are as well and fuel oil that is a huge pop almost four percent in september versus the negative 2.1 in october uh, august rather so that is a quick breakdown of these numbers and we're seeing gold and silver go ballistic today and if you're looking at the term ballistic in the sense of bitcoin it's not i guess you can't say it's ballistic because they're going up two percent uh ballistic move for bitcoin would be 15%, 10 20%. Uh, but when you're looking at gold and silver, guys, those markets being, um, well, at least gold's a $10 trillion market, 2% to the upside is a pretty decent move. So let's talk a little bit about what's going on in these markets right now. SPY, you can see this tanked initially after that CPI number came out. It went from 435 to 433, then it rocketed back to 435 at open, followed by a crash to 431, and now we've slowly been recovering as we're trading in the mid 433. So I'm uh, monitoring this very closely to see, you know, if we end up taking out the pre-market highs, the market open highs, and yesterday's high at about 435, 436, do we end up pushing back to 440? or do we end up failing at 433 going on a downswing into the close maybe we start pushing down 430 425 maybe later today some point this week that's kind of what i'm looking at for spy right now and going back to gold let's pop up that chart and now silver is actually up almost three percent so pretty impressive day for the metals which let's be honest have not been showing um a rise in terms of uh the price of the metals with all the inflation, which is a little bit interesting here, but this could be the start of it. You know, we ended up breaking out of both moving averages on gold here on the four hour chart, and this could be going mid 1800s plus per ounce by the looks of it. And silver, if I pop the silver chart up, um, this one's taken out slowly but surely. Very, um, it's very close to taking out this four hour 180 SMA, kind of like gold already did. And I'm seeing a clear cut inverse head and shoulder on silver right now on the four hour which is a pretty good sign i think silver um, is setting up for a decent move to the upside right now uh probably up towards let's say in the very short term maybe 25 an ounce which is where we could complete this inverse head and shoulder and 25 was the high from the beginning of september a little bit over a month ago so keep your eyes out on the metals guys although they're not very sexy you know bitcoin you know, Ethereum, those are more fun. The truth is, metals, they still have their place in the markets. I personally hold metals, and I think that they should be in everybody's portfolio. Even though I'm not a financial advisor, this is my opinion, and I'm just giving it to you guys 
real right now, and I'm telling you all exactly my thoughts and what I'm doing. You know, this is uh, this is my YouTube channel after all, isn't it, right, guys? So, yeah, gold, silver look good right now. Markets are trying to make a move back up. We'll see if that ends up happening. And in terms of what I'm doing, in terms of uh, some things that I did today, I ended up buying Pinterest, P-I-N-S. This is what I talked about in my morning update video on Patreon today, which if you guys are interested, check out the link down below. I make videos every morning exclusively for my top tier patrons on there. I talked about how I wanted to add into Pinterest and start selling covered calls against it. And I did exactly that. I bought at about 5180 um, and then I ended up selling the October 29th, I think $56 calls and I collected about $1.70, a little bit over $1.70 per contract and premium. So I'm collecting that premium and the reason why the premiums are super high that day or on, or on that expiration date, is because Pinterest reports earnings two days prior to that. Um, so I think a lot of this uh, hype for Pinterest earnings report is being priced into the premium of the options. So I'm kind of taking advantage of that. And uh, I'm, I'm really fine with, let's say we get a pop in Pinterest for that earnings report, I'm fine with selling at $56 and keeping that premium. And let's say Pinterest doesn't do well with earnings, the stock stays flat, it doesn't hit 56, maybe it goes down even, I'll keep the shares, which I want to keep anyway, and I'll keep the premium, and then I'll just write contracts for two weeks after. That's kind of um, how I'm approaching this. But other than that, I didn't do anything crazy um, in terms of new positions today. Um, I just, again, ended up adding Pinterest, selling some covered calls against it and that's really it you know i locked in profits on palantir uh, moving some money around but other than that i'm just keeping cash you know i'm uh, in another couple of trades but i'm just selling calls guys keeping cash and uh kind of uh not playing it def uh, defensively here i'm not being on uh, i'm not on defense per se but i'm just keeping my options open right that's kind of what i'm doing i'm not all in but i'm not all out i'm kind of in a position where i have open uh positions selling some calls i have some cash and i'm just playing it safe if you want to call it that so yeah let's wrap it up here guys you know we broke down the cpi numbers looked at the markets a little bit and we'll talk more about individual stocks later in my second video today so make sure you guys subscribe and if you enjoyed this one hit the like button drop me a comment let me know your thoughts and again check out my patreon down below if you guys want my buy sells call outs all that good stuff it's all on patreon make sure to also get your 30 bucks from uh, m1 finance that's free your two stocks from weeble also free those are linked down below and that's it i'll catch you guys in the next video thanks for watching again as always keep crushing the market stay safe safe out there. Peace out.